In this video, I'm going to look at even and odd functions. The function f is an even function if f of negative x equals f of x for all x in the domain of the function f. The graphs of even functions are symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Well, what does this mean? This means if I replace every x in f with negative x, I get the original function back out. Next, the function f is an odd function if f of negative x equals negative f of x for all x in the domain of the function f. The graphs of odd functions are symmetric with respect to the origin. This expression here means if I replace every x in the original function with negative x, I get the opposite of my original function. And then lastly, we have functions can also be neither odd nor even. This means that there are three categories of functions, even, odd, and neither. So let's take a look at some examples. So I need to determine whether the following functions are even, odd, or neither. Then I need to determine whether the function's graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, the origin, or neither. Now I've summarized the information from the previous slide over here. And whether I'm looking to show whether a function is even or odd, I need to know what f of negative x is. So on my first example, f of negative x equals, I'm going to replace every x in the definition of f with negative x. So I get negative x all raised to the fourth power minus 3 times negative x all squared minus 1. Negative x to the fourth power, I have four negatives, that's an even number, so my answer is going to be positive x to the fourth. In the next term, I have one negative here, but two here, so that's three negatives, an odd number, so my answer has to be negative 3x squared minus 1. Now is this the same as my original function? Yes, they're identical. So f of negative x equals f of x. So this statement is true. So I know the first example here is an even function and its graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Looking at our second example, figuring out f of negative x, it is the opposite of negative x all cubed plus 2 times negative x. So here I have three negatives here, one here, four negatives, so my first term is going to be positive as 4 is an even number. So I'm going to get x cubed and then 2 times negative x is negative 2x. Now is this the same as my original function? No, that does not equal f of x. So I know this function is not even. Now to show it's odd, I need to know what negative f of x is. So I'm going to find the opposite of f of x. So I'm just going to multiply f of x by negative 1. So I have negative 1 times negative x cubed plus 2x. Now negative 1 times negative x cubed is positive x cubed. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Now, is this expression the same as this one? Yes, they're identical. So I know that f of negative x has to equal the opposite of f of x. So I've shown this to be true. 
So my second example is an odd function and its graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. Looking at C, figuring out f of negative x, it is the opposite. Instead of x, I have to put negative x plus 2. What is the opposite of negative x? It's positive x plus 2. Is this the same as the original function? No, it doesn't equal f of x, so I know it is not even. So now I need to see if it is odd. So I have to figure out negative f of x. That means multiplying negative 1 by my original function of negative x plus 2. Negative 1 times negative x is positive x. Negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. Is this the same as this? No, it does not equal f of negative x. So now I know that this function is not odd. So I know my last example is neither odd nor even. One thing I need to point out is each of the functions we just looked at were polynomial functions. And for polynomial functions, if all powers of x are even numbers, then the function is an even function. And if all powers of x are odd numbers, then the function is odd. Remember, all constant terms are considered even as 3 equals 3x to the 0, or in other words, a constant equals that constant times x to the 0, and 0 is even. So reviewing our problems, in problem A, I have an even exponent, an even exponent, and a constant that is even. Is that what I proved this function was? Yes. Second example, odd exponent. On this x, there is a 1, which is odd. So I got an odd function. And in our last example, this x here has a 1 as an exponent that we're too efficient to write. 1 is odd, but 2 is a constant, and it is even. And so we showed that this function was neither odd nor even. But remember, this only works for polynomial functions. Do not use this shortcut when you have absolute values, square roots, x is in the denominator. Those you have to work out from scratch. And lastly, I need to look at the symmetry of odd and even functions. Here I've graphed each of the functions I've analyzed. The first one was even. Its graph should be symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Does that look true in this case? Yes. If I reflect the graph about the y-axis, this part on the right will lie on the left. And this part on the left will lie on the right. So graphs that are symmetric with respect to the y-axis are easy to visualize. But if you have an odd function, its graph should be symmetric with respect to the origin. This means that if you rotate the function 180 degrees around the origin, you will then get your original function. This is a little harder to visualize. So what I do is I take a point on the graph and then draw a line going through the origin. There should be a point on the graph equidistant on the other side of the origin. Is that true in this case? It looks it. Let's take a point over here. Go through the origin. Is there a point equidistant on the other side? Yes. Therefore, this function is symmetric with respect to the origin. 
and looking at our last function that was neither odd nor even, it should not be symmetric with respect to the y-axis. That is definitely true. And how about symmetry with respect to the origin? If I take a point on my graph and draw a line through the origin, is there a point equidistant on the other side? No. So the graph of this function is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis or the origin.